amazing. You do a great show, man. <laughs> Thanks. What's uh, what, what what what's up? Oh man, I'm serious. Really great. You're like a total inspiration. <laughs> and exactly what have I inspired you about? Well, okay. Right now, I live at home, but pretty soon, like next week, dude, I'm moving out. It's uh, the big 4-0, and it's 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 just time to go. Okay. Did you have anything relevant to say? Yeah, dude. That B dude was bogus. Really bogus. That's all. Great show, Laszlo. I, I appreciate that. You know, that's why I went to broadcasting school. All right, when we come back from these messages that help supplement my meager salary, we're going to talk to Reed Tucker. It's going to be a great interview. We'll be right back. A good shoe starts from the ground up. At Eris, we make high-quality footwear. In fact, you can find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Eris factories so you can meet some of them. Excuse me, sir. Do you enjoy your job here? It's fun. We get to play with knives. <laughs> I see. Is there a real sense of teamwork? My friend Joey sewed his hands together. Wow. You're learning some real skills. How about the salary and benefits? Yesterday I made a dollar. See, that's the kind of dedication we have to our employees and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes. Always running from something. Buying a gift for the guy that has everything? Log on to PetsOvernight.com. We've got exotic pets galore, including tigers, cobras, manatees, and white rhinos. All delivered overnight. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. All right, now joining us in the studio, we have a very special guest. His new book, Karate and Digestion, has been on the top 100 self-help books for the past three weeks. He is the founder of Now and Zen, Dojo and Organic Food Market in Trenton. His name is Reed Tucker. Welcome to Chatterbox, Reed. Why, thank you, Laszlo. It certainly is an honor to be here today. So tell me, Reed, where did you think of the idea of combining martial arts and organic food? I mean, I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, Laszlo. Actually, it is nothing like ice cream with pizza. The ice cream is milk-based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well, is a sandwich derivative of Italian origins, but I won't go on. Martial arts are about discipline and physical empowerment, not watching football and eating junk food. You have to explore your mind and your digestive system, Laszlo. What you put in also comes out. <laughs> Especially corn. What's the story with that anyway? Laszlo, I'm deadly serious now. My mentor was a 430-year-old monk who showed me the way to enlightenment through character. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, Laszlo. This is a way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes, I even frighten myself. <laughs> No offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. It, and it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, it, it's not a basement. I prefer a center for spiritual enlightenment. In chapter 17 of my book, which I know you have read, I address the dangers of cynicism. Ladlo, a closed mind is like a closed fist, and karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like wheatgrass, I think you'll really like my book. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damp hay and prancing around in leggings, shouting, Hiya! Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time, do not make me angry. It's bad for my karma, and it will definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts so I could stand up to bullies just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food and martial arts can help you too. <laughs> and I encourage anyone who needs a doorstop or booster seat to buy it as well. Let's see who's on the phones. Laszlo, this is your final warning. Do not make me go into my dragon's dance. <laughs> Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hello, Reed. I bought your book. It really saved my life. Why, thank you. I wanted to ask about chapter 29, yoga, not yogurt. I just can't give up cheese. It's so wonderful. I rejected chocolate milk and cat butter out of my life. I scooted around the house with my legs in behind my head for two days now. But my husband says I look like the chicken the exorcist. I even put the dairy on the top shelf of the fridge so I couldn't reach it with my legs in behind my head now. But I grow weak and start knocking things down with a broom. What can I do, Reed? Do not fret, my child. We are all weak. <laughs> you certainly are. Shut up, you carnivore. Why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla, Laszlo? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature and their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts. 
berries and leafy vegetables. Yes, and they threw stones at their own shadow and died of old age and fear at 24. Lazlo, the soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by those all-you-can-eat breakfast buffets with huge pans of juicy bacon... Can we get some bacon in here? <sighs> Lazlo, I go back to basics. I start the day with a fruity beverage, some meditation, and six hours of yoga. The next I go open up my shop, now and then, and drink two pints of hand-pressed potato juice. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, kung fu movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys at once? Okay, first things first, my man. You need to stop the negative thinking. And the best attack I've found is to just run away. That way you instill fear in your opponent. They never know when you might descend from the rafters like a bat. I don't want to hear about no tofu running away. I want to learn about being a ninja and kicking people's ass. Actually, I do cover this early on in the book in Chapter 45. It's called Stir Fry Your Prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with raw, uncooked, organic vegetables. Just look at me. I could tear a phone book in half on my bare toes. In fact, Ladlow, I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers and knowing this station it costs a hundred dollars. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks and now I shall make it so. Dragon Stance. Hey ya! Oh! Ow! Oh, Lazlo! Lazlo! I think I hurt my hand and my... My pinky's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, Lazlo, mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I bruise easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. Okay, very funny, Lazlo. It's easy to make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the feng shui in here. It's downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Leslo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you dig him up from? The state loony bin? And that wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron. I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees, uh, the evils of artificial sweeteners and soda pop, Roswell. It's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a satellite dish so they can beam their propaganda right into my brain. Come on. Do you honestly believe the NSA's echelon system isn't already reading your emails and recording your phone conversations? It's all designed to frighten us so we don't complain about our rights being taken away in the name of fighting whatever boogeyman they come up with today. Uh, well, I mean, you realize that the government listens to this station, and, and if they weren't paying particular attention to you before, they're probably going to be following you now. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, they already got me once, but never again. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. Free Kevin! All right, we're talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chip... Uh, well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. This station, it feels like my second family. <laughs> Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Well, old man, I, I was listening to that English wimp you were talking to earlier. I mean, do these guys realize how wussy they sound? I mean, they, they have the nerve to call crackers biscuits. And they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey morons. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee Schmerokee, man. And, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. You, I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer's for little girls, man. Football, now that's an American sport. It, it teaches you good, wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, Laszlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about from the sound of things. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like, like touch football and, and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around.